<coughs> excuse me welcome back to a new video in today's video i have got a new collection of gel polishes from model ones just checking my lighting <laughs> um so this is called city and blossom no city blossom in model ones i'm not sure city in blossom no i don't know um but there are several different sets each one based on a, a different city or a different country i think they're cities but they're in seven countries 10 cities over seven countries or something like that anyway in they do bigger sets as well i think they do sets of 24 or they do sets of six and they are seven mil bottles this one is called i think this is the london royal castle one um they are all sort of they're, they're sheared like jelly colors in this one um i like these four but these two at the end they're kind of like I don't know whether they want to be opaque or if they want to be sheer. They're kind of like too opaque to be sheer. And yeah, but that's just my opinion. I'm probably being fussy. But, um, right, I'm going to use the yellow and the orange one. And I've got these stickers. These are from Shein. Um, I thought they'd go really nicely with the... I thought we'd do like a set of bee nails. I do use some other stickers as well, which I will show you, uh, you know, as the video goes on. But they are as well they're all from Shein today so i'm using uh 1612 i think this is and this is the yellower color and then 1611 is the slightly more orangey color so i'm going to do three nails in this this color and i do like that these are really the first four are really because sometimes you get jelly colours and they're not very jelly at all. I do like that these first, the first four colours that I showed you were, like, they're definitely see-through. And I like that. Okay, so I'm going to pop those in the lamp for a 30 second cure. Then I've got, this is, I've just grabbed this. This is Nail Sugar's Millionaire Glitter. I'm going to use the bigger chunkier bits in here to make what looks like honeycomb. And I've also got some Model ones Top and Base. So the, this is the top coat this has got a gold lid and the silver one is the base coat so we're going to use the base coat on one of our yellow nails only a very small amount like a really really thin you see i keep wiping off my brush because i only want a thin little if i put a big thick coat on then the glitter that i put on is just going to keep moving around i mean it's gonna, it does move around a bit anyway but if I put masses on, it's going to be even worse. You just want a tiny bit of base coat, just enough that the glitter sticks kind of where you want it. And you can, when you cure it, it's going to just hold the glitter in place. So I'm making this look a bit like honeycomb. So I'm only taking the bigger bits and I'm making sure there's a little gap between them you see what I mean so that it looks like honeycomb and oh, this is this is a hollow a hollow glitter so it's going to be it's going to catch the it's going to catch your eye when it hits the light which is quite nice I'm going to do another one down in the corner so whatever I'm doing on this nail I'm going to do this twice so I'm going to do this on another nail as well I only put one coat of the gel polish on this actual nail. You can put two if you want to. So I've got a smaller bit of glitter in there, which actually I just left in, I think. I just, yeah, I just pushed it up there. So that, I'm going to, I'm going to cure that into place. And then I liked the B with the little dots, the little uh, trail of dots behind it. I thought that was quite cute. And I thought that would look quite nice between the little honeycombs. And they do have this same bee going the other way. So I think on the other nail, I put the honeycombs in the opposite corners. There we go. So I'm just going to make sure I've pushed that down. So that I've got no like sticky uppy bits. And then um, if you wanted to, you could go over with... Before you put the sticker on, you could go over with a second coat of the yellow over the glitter because it would still make it holographic because it's it's a, a transparent gel polish so it wouldn't 
yeah do you know what i mean but i'm just going over with the top coat to seal the sticker in and then that's going to go in the lamp so i will do that nail twice uh on oh hang on what we're we doing here right we're going over with our second coat now Because I do decide, I just wondered what it would look like if we had a second coat, but it's still lovely and see through. Lovely and transparent, as you can see, because you can still see the horrible blue tack underneath. <laughs> I keep putting cherry coke in the fridge and forget about them. I'm trying to open it now, but it's fizzing up. I can hear it, and then I have to shut it quickly so that it doesn't. Anyway, um, yeah, so, where am I? Yeah, no, okay. Uh, well, on this, this one of the orange nails, I'm taking the word sweet, and I'm going to put it sort of about three quarters to two thirds of the way to the top. And then underneath that, you can't see because I go out of shot, so I'm just going to skip forward i like that the word honey had a little b where the where the o should have been so that's going to go underneath so that says sweet honey i quite like that i thought that was cute i mean this has got to be the most easiest set of nails i think i've ever done <laughs> but i actually really quite like the end result there we go so that i'm going to leave that like that make sure again you push the sticker down if you want to you can use like a silicon tool and then I'm gonna top coat, top coat this all into place to seal that the stickers in. There we go. That's gonna go into the lamp. And then these are the other stickers. I really, really liked the little honey jar here. And again, it's holographic, so I quite like the barrel as well, but I went with the jar, um, and because it's holographic, I thought it would tie in nicely with the, the honeycomb glitter. And this one I'm going to put in the middle, right there. And I kind of wished I'd done a full nail of glitter as well, but I, because I do leave a nail plain, and I kind of wished I'd gone in with the with the glitter on that, but I didn't. But there we go. Hindsight is a wonderful thing. So we're just going to top coat these now. Aren't stickers and decals and things, aren't they just amazing? Like, look, nail art in seconds. Okay, so that is them. I didn't even put, um, look at the glitter nail. I love that one, the glitter nails with the bees. Right, I'm going to show you a close up. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. You can get... I'm not sure, some money off model ones using code Natalie double zero. Might be 15%, might be 20%. I don't know. Go and have a look and give it a go. <laughs> anyway, see you all tomorrow. God bless.